so much. Well, well, you all seem to be in such a good mood, so I guess that must mean that none of you here watch the Sonics game tonight. Is that right? Mm, ooh. Ooh, the, uh, the spark just didn't seem to be there tonight for the team, but hey, you know, it's only one game out of seven. Now we're still up two to one, and we believe in our team, don't we? Yeah. 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 You know, I really hope the Sonics go all the way this year because then they'll be all ready for the big new renovation plans for the Coliseum next year that they've got on the board. You, you may have seen this. It's going to cost a lot of money to fix up that building, and they plan to raise the dough by selling luxury boxes to folks with lots of money. Now, they're going to cost between seventy dollars and $135,000 each for, to watch the Sonics, which... That's, you know, a pretty steep price tag, but they've already had a few buyers. Interestingly enough, Ken Baring, the owner of the Seahawks, <laughs> picked up one. He just wants the experience of watching a winning team, which is good. Uh, a group of the uh, Portland Trailblazers' wives have bought a box so they can just sort of... Just want to keep, keep an eye on their husbands at least just part of the time. <laughs> And also, interestingly enough, uh, Cairo News bought a luxury box, but they're just going to walk around outside it, which I think <laughs> is good. But I, I think I, I know why you're in such a good mood, though. It's because the weather has finally taken a turn for the better. Yeah. It's getting pretty bad there for a while. But of course, this, this of course, that the weather has it's prompted the yearly debate now about how to deal with all the congestion on the path around Green Lake. We talk about it about every year at this time. You know, the rollerblades and bikers keep crashing into the walkers and joggers, and it's just a big mess. But if they ever did solve the problem, what would the weekly's letter page look like? <laughs> I don't know. Someone, they'd have to find something else to write about. Maybe, actually, I think part of the problem is that the weekly personal ads all say, walks around Green Lake, which is <laughs> it's where the problem is. All these people hard up for dates feel compelled to say they want to walk around Green Lake. Just change the ads. Pick some other lake to walk around. Walk, walk around Lake Washington. Go for some real commitment. You know? Anyway, the city... The, the city's trying to figure out how to stop all the accidents and injuries that are caused by, the, by having so many people biking and walking and rollerblading around the lake at the same time. And we've received a list of the proposed solutions. I thought you might be interested in hearing them. For example, have the rollerblade lane go straight into the lake, which I think <laughs> would be good. Could reduce foot traffic by hiring Jehovah's Witnesses to work the path. <laughs> Cut down right away. Uh, release specially trained pit bulls that hate the sounds of skates. Or how about require women in pairs discussing their relationships to move to the slow lane. That, ought to, that should deal with it quite quickly. Or how about this one? Force speeders to attend a Yanni concert at the amphitheater. And finally, hire girls in thong bikinis to hold up signs that say fast skaters finish too soon. The main problem, as I see it, is basically a lack of manners. And whenever that happens around here, this guy goes to work. That's right. Stand by for Billy Kwan.